A fire off Route 202 in Jaffrey brought crews to the scene Saturday morning. That there was a fast moving uh, brush fire uh, in that area. So uh, we dispatched it as a first alarm brush fire. Jaffrey Fire Chief David Chamberlain says their fast action kept the fire from spreading. As for how it started. And in put talking with the landowners, uh, they had uh, put uh, some wood ashes, uh, dumped some wood ashes into that brush pile uh, in the last couple days. Chamberlain says the dry, windy conditions drastically increase the odds of those ashes sparking new flames. And once they start, they move fast. The leaves that are normally a lot uh, wetter this time of year are not. So, um, so things can ignite very, very easily. Chamberlain says a fire in Ringe started after someone threw the ashes from their wood stove into their yard. And that gentleman had put his uh, pellet stove ashes um, into his campfire ring on the outside of his house, which he thought was probably been doing for many years and thought it was safe. There was another brush fired in Litchfield and the cause is under investigation. Chamberlain says if you aren't sure how to have a fire safely, it's best just to avoid them for now. Wait till we get some snow and, and or some heavy rain and then the drought goes away before you enjoy those campfires because uh, it can make a, a headache for everybody and a long day for the firefighters. Chamberlain says if you do need to dispose of burnt materials, the safest way to do so is to soak them in a metal container until everything's cool and make sure to toss them somewhere away from the woods and from the leaves.